Hey, what is going on? My name is Anant and in this video, I'm going to show you how to personalize your cold emails. Now, if this is something that you already know, I'll tell you how to take your personalization to the next level. So stick to this video because I'm going to show you some cool hacks that will help you boost your conversion or replies at least by 30% from whatever result that you are getting right now. So first of all, if you're not aware about how do you personalize your cold emails, the basic thing that you need to know is is macro macro is something that you use to personalize your emails and this looks something like this so this this is the first name macro so your email marketing software whatever it is will replace this value by the associated column with that email so if if let's say that is a alex email and if i'm trying to send him an email if i'm sending alex an email so whatever is the value, whatever is the value that has been associated with first name column will be replaced by this macro over here. So for Alex email, if his first name is Alex, obviously, then it's going to be exclusive and in, invite Alex. Now here we have company name. So this company name is going to be replaced by, you know, whatever is the Alex company name. Correct. And that is the basic thing that you need to know. Now you don't have to worry about if you know how to use a macro in the right way, you don't have to worry about uh, writing email copy every single time for each and every prospect, because here, what you will do is you will just upload a CSV file or a contact list in your email marketing CRM that contains the name, the first name, last name, email ID, company's name, and bunch of other columns that exist for that contact list and all the columns that the uh, CSV file or your contact list have can be personalized using a platform, using an email marketing software. Now, today in this video, I'll be taking a reference of Grow Me Organic because in Grow Me Organic, you can personalize every single column. In most of the traditional email marketing platform, you only get to personalize a very limited amount of columns like first name, last name, and then only the company name. That's it, right? But here in Romeo Organic, it totally depends on what list have you uploaded here. So if your list contain, let's say something like status, and that status value is yes, no, or anything, which any variable that it contains, that can also be personalized. What do I mean by that? Let me just show you. Now look at this, this column over here. What columns do we have right now? It's first name, last name, URL, job title, company name, company domain, company ID, and the city. Now let's say if you want to add a new column over here, which is the first line icebreaker, you can add it over here, first line, ice breaker and then you can personalize that contact list by a first line ice breaker for all of them now this is something we're going to be talking about in the later part of the video but what i'm trying to tell you here is that you can literally have any column that you want in grow me organic list and that column can be personalized when you are sending emails by using macros. So if I upload this list, we're going to be having one, two, three till M these many, uh, you know, uh, macros over here, this column can be used as a macro. That is what I'm trying to tell you here. Now going back to the platform and if I open, so this is where you create a new email template, right? But I'm going to be taking a reference of email template that I've already created. So all I need is just to click on edit the template. So I'll click on edit template. This is where you write the subject line and look at this using a macro. I have personalized the first name. Now, how can we get the macro? We just need to choose the list that we've created. So if this is the list that we've uploaded, we just need to choose that list and based on that list, we'll be getting those macros. So for this one, you can see we are getting these many columns. We're getting domains, name, city, LinkedIn URL, middle name, and a lot of other things. Uh, 
if I choose this one, we are just getting these many columns. So it totally depends on what column, what list have you chosen in order to personalize your emails. And these columns can be used to personalize your emails over here. And if that column, let's say, have no value, then you will use a fallback, which you see over here. This is a fallback, default fallback. So if let's say I'm sending John an email, but John does not have the name in the in the name column, in that case, it this software will automatically put there in that place. And instead of John, we'll just write hey there. Or let's say if I'm if I'm if I'm trying to say uh, I hope you're doing well and hope everything is under control in your city. Now, if we already have the value of the city, we can just put the value of the city. And if you don't have the value of that city, then it's only going to be choosing city. That's it, right? That is how it works. So as I said before, you can personalize uh, your email by whatever column you want. But in Romeo Organic, especially what you get is a personalization by dates, which means whenever, whatever day this recipient is re receiving that email, that day can also be personalized here on this email. And that's quite helpful when you're trying to get on a call with that recipient. So, Hey, I'm available for a quick call on this one is generate date, date, text plus one plus one. It means that if let's say if that recipient is getting the email on Monday, then this will appear as Tuesday. And then here, this, this one will become Wednesday and Thursday. So here I've, you know, added three, which means Monday or Thursday. I'm sorry. It's, I guess Monday and Wednesday. Yeah. Or let's just make it simple Monday or Tuesday. That's it. So if someone is getting an email and I want to get on a call with that person, whoever have received my email on whatever day I'm saying, Hey, let's get on a call tomorrow or day after tomorrow. So here we can actually have the personalized dates, personalized days, which is Monday and Tuesday, which you can find it over here, the macros to use, right? Then comes the image personalization part. And it is one of the most interesting part about this platform over here. This is the beauty of this platform. So we're going to be talking about image personalization. This is something which can boost your reply rates by 30% at least. Why? Because you have taken some time to personalize your images. Now, let me just show you something what I have done over here. So look at this, we've uploaded a meme image over here and then I have personalized that by the first name and then I can add another text saying, can I get your attention? So it can be Alex, can I get your attention? Anything like that. Now you can be creative. Let me just give you one more idea over here. So let's say if you're trying to invite someone on a call with you, you will be holding two cups within your hand, two white cups within your hand. In this one, you have one white cup. In this one, we, you have one white cup. Here, you can write your own name saying this one, this cup is for Anand and this cup is for whatever prospect who's receiving that email. So here, instead of writing that person's name, you can use this macro, which is first name. So if you use first name as a macro on the left cup, so for every single person whom you're sending the email, he'll be getting a very personalized email saying, Hey, I'm inviting you for a virtual date or a virtual coffee, right? That's pretty cool. Right. And even if that person knows that you have, you have used a graphic designing tool in order to do it, it that person still consider you someone who've taken the time and effort to personalize that email for him. Right. And that makes you outstand from the crowd. So that's a very interesting feature. You should absolutely try it out by yourself. So once you create a personalized email for yourself, like you upload the image, then you write the text, you align it in the right place, choose the right color font family. You can also rotate that, which means if the text you know, is slightly straight and you want to tilt this in the angle, right or left, you can do it from here. Now, once you do it, once you personalize your image, 
then you can copy the macro and use it in your template. Let me just show you that. So if I go to my template, which is this one, this is where I can paste my image personalization token, which is here, right? And then I'll click on update this template. Now, if I try to look at the preview of this image, but I have to choose a list over here. So let's just choose this one and let's try to look at the output. Okay. Look at this. Okay. For this one, it's, it's null, but, uh, yeah, this one is the first name. And then look at this, Bharat, Susan, Ran, Arun. So we are getting a lot of, uh, personalized emails, personalized name over here, along with, you know, Tuesday or Thursday, which I told you earlier. So on whatever day that person is getting the email, this is going to be personalized accordingly, right? So no matter on what day you're sending that email, it will choose the right day. So that is it about email image personalization. It helps you a lot in getting the replies. If you be a little creative with your strategies and the next thing that you need to know is to personalize your emails by first line ice breakers. What do I mean by that? Now this takes a little bit of time and effort, but if you really do it, this will again boost your replies by, I guess, hundred X. Why? Because this time you're not spamming with lots and lots of generic templates. You've at least taken some time to personalize the email copy by that person's profile. What do I mean by that? So let's say if you have a list like this email, first name, last name, URL, job title, and you know, a couple of other columns. Now what you have is the LinkedIn profile of these prospects. If you don't have that, you can use Gromi organic. So with Gromi organic, you can extract emails. I mean, unlimited emails from LinkedIn search results. And once you export that result, the CSV file, it will look something like this. Now you have the columns, you have the LinkedIn profile of each and every prospect. Then you can ask a virtual assistant. You can hire a virtual assistant for a very cheap pricing, or you can hire someone from Fiverr to personalize the first line icebreaker for you. What do I mean by that? So let's say this is the first LinkedIn profile. Now for this person, that virtual assistant will go to his profile, look at the accomplishment that this person have, and then it will personalize, he or she will personalize that, uh, you know, according to the profile of this person. So look at this. It says she's a senior, senior content strategist. I'm a senior content strategist, well-rounded background, UX designing. I have an internal work ethic, blah, blah, blah. 10 years of experience in UX designing. So these are the things that can be personalized. If you have a human who can actually look at the profile, read the profile and accordingly you can just give them some compliment. Like for this one, 10 years of experience in UX designing. I, I see that you have 10 years of experience in U, UX design. So how do I personalize that? I can say, I see you have 10 years of experience in UX designing, which is great, right? So anything like this, Now for all these profile, your virtual assistant can go one by one and add anything that adds a personal touch, right? Once you have this in place, you can export this file in CSV. So let me just do it over here. Uh, Yeah, this one and I'll export the file in CSV. So I can export the file in CSV and I can go to my list. This is where let's say I create a new personalized list, anything like this. 
and then I will import the contacts that I've just downloaded, which is put. Okay, not this. Yeah, yeah, this one because I have downloaded this contact over here. So now what I want is to have the personalized, uh, you know, icebreaker as a column for that. I can add a custom field and for this one, I'll choose first line icebreaker. This is what I was talking about in the beginning of this video. Look at this. I see you have 10 years of experience, right? And then I can map other values over here, like email, first name, last name, and a lot of other things. So let me just start importing that. Now we should have also, uh, you know, map other values as well, which was like job title companies. But for the sake of this video, we are just taking first name, last name, and the first line icebreaker. Okay. So now we are done with uh, adding this over here. So I can go back to my templates. And this is where now I can choose another list. Hold on. Let me just close this one. And okay. Let me just clone that so that I don't temper with what I've already written. So this is a clone version of what I've written earlier. Now we don't have company name as of now. So we'll just take out everything from here and then I'll just add this one first line icebreaker. That's it. Right. And then I'll click update this template. Now, if I try to look at the preview of this email, so if I choose personalized list, now I have just one contact for which I have personalized, which, which is this one, Lisa. So if we can get Lisa's profile here, we'll absolutely, okay. This one is Lisa's profile. So look at this. I see you have 10 years of experience in UX designing, which is great, right? So this is how you can personalize your emails to the next level and, you know, personalizing your email by image and then the LinkedIn profile of that person will take your email personalization, their open rates, reply rates to the next level. So make sure to follow these steps. And you, if you haven't tried grow me organic yet, one of the coolest feature about Romeo organic is that you get the sales prospecting tool, which is extracting emails from LinkedIn. You get unlimited credits over there and then, you know, sending emails to these people you get in the same platform again with unlimited credits. So extract as many people you want from LinkedIn and send as many emails you want to those people with unlimited credits using Romeo organic. Make sure to sign up for the 14 days free trial and I'll see you in the next video with another hack about cold email marketing.